Hey everyone, welcome back to another fun filled family vlog. Weekends are usually very busy with the household chores like cleaning, cooking, laundry, groceries, but most importantly, taking kids out for some fun time and sharing some fun moments with you all. So, friends, stay tuned with us as we spend our day today at Vancouver's one of the major tourist attractions, Vancouver Aquarium. Today, yet another rainy weekend as usual. <laughs> it has been downpouring since morning, but that couldn't stop us from today's fabulous fun family activities. Vancouver Aquarium is one of the major tourist attractions of Vancouver and is conveniently located in Stanley Park. Jojo, are you excited? The aquarium is a center for marine research, ocean literacy education, conservation and marine animal rehabilitation and most importantly a fun place for the whole family. From being the Canada's first public aquarium, the Vancouver Aquarium has become the largest in Canada and falls under the five largest in entire North America. The Vancouver Aquarium was the second aquarium in the world to capture and display an orca. Other whales and dolphins included belugas, narwhals and dolphins. The aquarium covers approximately 9,000 square meters and has a total 9,500,000 liters of water spread out in over 166 aquatic displays. There are a number of different galleries such as the Pacific Canada Pavilion featuring fish and invertebrates from the Strait of Georgia. The treasures of the BC Coast Gallery displaying rockfish, sea stars, sea urchins and anemones. The Stellar's Bay or Canada's Arctic Gallery, Penguin Point, the Wild Coast, Tropics Gallery, Amazon Rainforest. Do you like them? Are you feeling happy? How much happy? Very happy? Show me how much happy, Toja. Did you did you spot an octopus? Uh, no. No? A shark? Yes. That's that one. The sea of Wow. One. Our world is home to some wondrous jellyfishes.
There are so many different varieties of jellies that live in our oceans. These jellies tend to be transparent, don't have bones or thick muscles, and guess what? These are made of at least 95% water. Isn't that amazing? These delicate and dreamy predators don't have teeth or claws to catch and subdue a violent fish. They sting with venom. I haven't seen such tiny jellies ever. And friends, believe me, I'm not joking. These are moon jelly ephyra with diameter of up to 50 cm and the moon jelly polyps. Wait, 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 these are not jellyfish. I'm sure this plastic bag fooled you. Just a deep to me. The truth is sea turtles often mistake them for jellyfish. So to protect sea turtles, we must recycle or keep them in garbage bins. Yes, at every point we got to see such facts and warnings, which is great. Finally, we reached the rainforest zone. And yes, our world is home to jewels of the rainforest too. We got to see some rare varieties of poison frogs here, such as the yellow colored poison frog species that produces skin toxins so potent that just a single individual can potentially kill 10 people. The Embira tribe of Colombia uses this frog skin toxin to poison their hunting darts. Now let's move on to the world of Indo-Pacific coral reef. We got to explore the world of Amazon Basin, Tropical New Guinea and it is needless to say that the Amazon's flooded forest is probably the world's richest jungle of fish. The tropical island of New Guinea is one of the few remote places left on earth and yet it is one of the most threatened regions on the planet too. And now we are at the tropic zone, the wettest and warmest part of the world. It is housed for some wide variety and richer diversity of life than anywhere else on earth. The sunnier, warmer and winterless seasons in the tropics makes it a stable environment, thus supporting the richest and most diverse collection of life on earth the rainforests and coral reefs. We had an amazing experience of the different river basins. The lush Amazon river basin is just priceless. It is home of the largest tropical rainforest. It is the largest river basin in the world and helps to keep our world cool by absorbing the sun's radiation and sustain a huge diversity of life. You can say, one of the richest in the world.
got to meet a bunch of rescued marine animals in the Vancouver Aquarium, such as Helen, the rescued Pacific white-sided dolphin, and Bella Bella, a female stellar sea lion, and Jessica, the blind seal. The search for Helen's new home started in 2017 after the loss of Chester of a false killer whale who was Helen's closest companion. Although she enjoyed the company and attention of the aquarium trainers, she still needed a company of her own kind. She has been moved to her new home in the US in April 2021. Bella Bella was rescued in June 2017 off British Columbia's central coast. She was named after the town Bella Bella closest to her rescue site. Because Bella was orphaned as a newborn, she doesn't have the skills to survive on her own. So Fisheries and Oceans Canada has deemed her non-releasable. Jessica is a blind seal and aquarium trainers uses touch and sound to teach this rescued harbor seal the basic behaviors that would help us take care of her. We met Senior Cinco, he's a male California sea lion, rescued on May 5, 2017 from a local beach called Spanish Banks. He's, he's named after the day Cinco de Mayo in Spanish. Friends, the saddest part of this story is that as discovered by the aquarium's veterinary team, he was shot in the face and was blinded as a result. What a cruel act. Welcome to my 40 feet. How is everybody doing today? There's a half a billion, 5,000 kilometer journey from Japan to the East Coast. Grizzly bears, rivers where they themselves were their mother's milk.
like three, four hours. We are in the aquarium and, and it is not just enough. I wish I could have stayed back for some more time. So, Tojo, you had fun? Yes, and yes. I need to go down. So, we are done for today and it was a huge crowd. If you have kids, it's a must visit place, definitely. So, I think it's enough for today and now we are heading back home. So finally friends, we are back in the car and the weather isn't in our favor today. It's been raining very badly since morning but we had to make it to the aquarium today because we already purchased the tickets online and when we started it was little drizzling a little bit on and off but we never thought when we were inside the aquarium it started raining way, uh, like too much. I literally ran because we had only one umbrella. Stay tuned with us to watch more such family fun days. Uh, we have planned a lot of outings, a lot of fun uh, adventures and trips. So please stay tuned with us. And yes, do please, please, please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. And we will see you back very soon in another family vlog. Exciting and adventurous family vlog.